Hi guys, this is Mrs. Hall here again. This is your unit on gastric lavage. You can find all the links to this video series, Nursing 3101L, in the description section below. So why do we do a lavage? It's basically just washing out the stomach with sterile water or saline. We do this to remove any kind of poisons or drugs that have been ingested or to treat gastric or esophageal bleeding. Um, you gather your equipment together and you make sure that you pay attention to your patient. Observe the vital signs, the abdominal inspection. Make sure that you measure the abdominal girth. There may be some kind of distension because we're putting fluids in. Um, listen to the bowel sounds. You assess for tube patency, your, your nasal patency, just like you did when you were inserting the um, NG tube. And you pay attention to the doctor's orders to determine what you want for irrigation or any kind of charcoal that must be um, used. Now, you want to warm your solution that you're going to use to just about 100.4 degrees. You're going to warm that so that you don't cause the stomach to spasm. However, if there is bleeding, if there is some kind of hemorrhage, instead of using saline, you would want to use water. And the temperature of that water could actually be cold because it will help with the constriction of vessel, vessels to stop bleeding. Now, once you've finished introducing yourself to your client and making them comfortable, explaining the procedures and ensuring privacy, you want to make sure that you go ahead and protect yourself. Because in a procedure like this, it can become a little bit messy. So be sure to don your clean gloves. Again, this is a clean procedure, not a sterile one. And when you've gotten your face shield and mask on, you are going to make sure that you drape your patient. Well, we put on the drape and ensure that you get yourself a 60 ml syringe that you are going to check for patency. I mean, your placement, sorry. During the passage of the NG tube, you check for, place, for placement, and that is one of the ways that you check. You insufflate by pushing in maybe 10 to 30 cc's of air into it and listening for it with your stethoscope. After you've already checked that the placement is correct, you are going to then attach your syringe and aspirate the content of the stomach. You would then gent you would gently, firmly withdraw, 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 and once you get all that content up, you will make sure that you put it aside and measure it. So now that you've established a starting point, this is what we have aspirated. You will then. This is our warm solution. We will then go ahead and attach our warm solution. You attach your warm solution and you let it run through about uh, 50 to 200 cc's. You just go ahead and run through the fluids, run through the fluids, let it fill the stomach just a little bit. Your stomach can hold up to 1,000 cc's of fluid. So putting in that 200 cc's is no problem. Once you've got that run through, you clamp it off and then you allow it to drain. In some cases, we would attach a urine bag. The urine bag has a connection that can fit directly onto the tube. So it fits well. You would lower it down so that it gravity feeds into the bag. After you've allowed it to gravity feed, make sure that you keep measuring what's happening because input and output is very important in this case because you do not want to distend the stomach unnecessarily. You do not want to be losing water to some kind of um, gastric uh, problem that may have been developed from the, uh, in the, the intake of some chemical. So you would repeat that procedure 
as many times as necessary. Um, again, please be aware of INO, intake output. Now, if you're using the intermittent method, it's pretty much the same thing where you're using a syringe to pull back instead of allowing it to gravity feed. You're just pulling back using your syringe. You're pulling back. You're allowing water to go in and then you're repeating pulling back. So with that, you go ahead and you do it as many times as is indicated. And then if you are supposed to remove the, the NG tube, you go ahead and remove it if it's indicated and just give your patient mouth care. Make sure that your patient is comfortable as is possible and then you get rid of your equipment and dispose of it as is indicated in your institution. So that's it on the lavage and we will see you again in our next video when we remove this NG tube.